All right, there you go. We're here We're on here. Smells Like 90s Rock. You disappeared for years, and I had to tell people that you disappeared for yes, years. Yes, I disappeared for years. You did, and uh, but you're back now. I was pooping. I was pooping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I already got the sound effect made that will follow every time we it's say gonna that. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be disgusting, but it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I've, I've gotten so this. So you know, I, last week I finished the play. Yes. This week, I put all the sound effects together. So I'm like, we're ahead. Like, we're way ahead <laughs> of schedule. What is up with the overachieving Todd I, over I there? I don't know. I just, I got it all done. I had it's some weird. time. Yeah. I don't, I don't know overachieving Todd. I don't know this either. I, I'm, I'm the guy that puts everything off till the very last minute. Yeah. I think that's why I'm doing this, because I got fed up with doing that. So. With being, like, the last minute Todd? Yeah. So, because I remember, well, there's been Christmases in the past where I had to stay up, like, all night and finish... <laughs> stuff for this Christmas Eve writing for these shows that I, we do and they're not it's not it's not fun to stay up real late and have to work on that so hey get it done weeks in advance and you don't have to even think about it are you going home for thanksgiving yes i'll be going home on wednesday i'll be back friday okay i'll be here friday is baby day going with you no she goes to her uh, sister's place and i'm always invited but it's like eh, i go to my parents house that's like the only holiday we split and, okay. then, and then she she comes home to our place or, or my parents' house for Christmas. So it's so that's how that works. Technically, I should probably go with her to Thanksgiving, but I don't because I I enjoy our Thanksgivings. So I'm that guy. You're that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy that stays home. That stays stays with his family. Yeah, I'm like you don't stay home. No, no, I go back to where home originally was, and then then we go from there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what. But and you're going back to SoCal, right? No, SoCal Southern or South Carolina. Oh, SoCal Southern California. Yes. It? Never mind. So I'm going down to South Kakalaki. South Kakalaki. That's mm -hmm. what I was probably trying to go for and couldn't find it. No, it's fine. Yeah, and so you're, when you're going down there, I leave Wednesday and I come back Saturday. Mm. So you you don't waste time either. You just go down there. Well, I, w I usually try to stay to Sunday, but with the current schedule. Yeah. No, you got to get back because I'm sure you got to go back to school Monday, right? Yes, I do. They don't give a crap about saying thanks when it comes to school. No. Say thanks for one day and then you come back. I mean, my boy's not even out of school on Wednesday. Like Seriously? No, they're in school Wednesday. Not even an abbreviated day? No, so I pick him up from school and head down at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. How long will it take you to get down there? Because I'm leaving so late, it's going to take me like six and a half hours. Yeah, I didn't <coughs> think he was that far away. Well, well, he's not, but you have to do the speed limit on Thanksgiving weekend because they have state troopers every 20 miles. Everywhere. Between Keep that in mind Columbia. if you're traveling. And there's always this huge traffic jam from like, I would say it's maybe 10 miles outside of Columbia. But it takes you like an hour and a half to get through it. I see. So it adds. Like, that's the mm -hmm. thing. Like, the actual time there, like, when I usually go down, it's four and a half to five hours. Jeez. But no, that extra time of just sitting there. I'll tell them, you come up here. I've thought about it, but I don't think they'd listen to me. They probably wouldn't. But that's, that's what I'd be like. Well, you guys come up here, seriously. Come visit me. That's right. Happy Thanksgiving. I was just going to mention something. I've forgotten what it was. But my dad's like, I'm so excited to see you because I haven't seen you all. And I'm like, I think I might have to tell him now. Yeah, about <laughs> about, about coming up here? Yeah, about being in the doctoral program. Oh, so you want him to hate you. Yes, like I've not shared this with him, but I think it's time. Oh. I say that, but there's a very good chance that I'll still chicken out. Well, I mean, you've been in it for a semester now. I, it, would, <sighs> it probably would be. He doesn't listen to the show. Hey. Dad, uh, she's 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 <laughs> in the doctor. She's gonna be a doctor, a PhD, from this place with this ish. So better get used to it. It's, it's happening. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly how I'll break it. To that's him. that's what you should do. Just say it right now. Just be just, just be blunt. Cause he's listening. You yeah, know he's listening. yeah. He's really listening. He's no, you know he's listening out there. He listened to me honestly once. The only time I've been on radio. Really. It was when I was doing it for the um the credit for the class. Oh. Like my very first time on air, and he's like, I hate that music, and I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Well, for two reasons. <laughs> One, the music was not in his, his wheelhouse. And two, that when you're doing it, like, 
I, I didn't actually get talk or, or have flavor. I was just like back announcing for announcing. Like yeah, that. that kind of thing. So, not like this. Not like this. This so is like, this show's got all the flavor. Yeah, the show has flavor. Yeah. That was just very sterile. And he's like, I I know what your voice sounds like. This is <laughs> not interesting to me. <laughs> but you hear it on the real. air on radio, <laughs> dude. My dad keeps it real. Oh my god! Like my parents still get excited when they hear me. Like I. Like, yeah, I know. I'm, but I'm on it all the time now, so it really doesn't matter. But the, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know all about that. That's not. Uh, but he doesn't give a crap. <laughs> no, he's like, whatever. <laughs> I listen. To what that. is his wheelhouse of music exactly? Classic rock, like okay, to the point where he got Sirius XM because he felt that the local classic rock station had betrayed him because they began playing some '90s music. Oh my God! He heard Pearl Jam once, and he was like, "That's it. Nope." He went that's, out and got serious. Like, like, he's that's like, all it took. This. That's all it took was one, one Pearl, Pearl Jam, Jam session. Song. Okay, yep, it was like a double dose of Pearl Jam. He's like, "Well, the, the station's Never dead to mind. me." Never mind, folks. You have to understand that classic rock at this point in time now is he, from the 90s. is from the nineties and eighties. Now it's not. Yeah, it's no longer. When we get into the two thousand twenties. The 2000s rock will then start to be yeah. classic rock. That's how that works. It's like every 20 years. But nope, it was dead to him. It was dead to him. No more. Can't do that. He does not want to go past 79. <laughs> Once you get past that, he's like, no. Nope. Never mind. This is unacceptable. That's starting. That's, that's about to become ancient rock, people. That's ancient rock. Yeah, it's going to have to change its name. That's right. I wonder if people will still be listening to that music 100 years into the future. Like a hundred years, like in in the two thousand seventies and two thousand eighties, would they be listening? They remember this song from one hundred years ago. See, that's what I wonder this about. Is, in two thousand seventy four, it'll be this is Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody celebrating its hundredth anniversary. Because, like, if you think about it, we don't listen to stuff that our grandparents listen to. Not necessarily. Well, no, that's true. My grandparents grew up in the 20s and 30s, so I don't listen to... Damn, that music sucks. I don't listen to <laughs> jazz very often. No, I don't. it's like, woohoo. No, yeah. that music sucks. I don't listen to minstrel shows. I'm sorry, I don't. So... I try not to. Did I get it right? Minstrel? Minstrel. Minstrel shows? Yes. Minstrel is like... They call it minstrel, though. They say minstrel shows. <sighs> they, they say minstrel. It, they say it that way. I know, I know the difference between minstrel and minstrel. Oh, I'm not getting into this again. Yeah, we're that, not doing that, it again. That hurts. Like, that hurts, it hurts my brain. The, yeah, it hurts everybody. It like, hurts my brain. <laughs> I can't do it again. But so. anyway, yeah. So yeah, it's true. I don't listen to the, to that music, to swing music and jazz. Yeah, you music. know, it's like woohoo. That was pretty much all that was around in the 20s and 30s. Yeah. Yeah, but now you know, I'll listen to I'll listen to Chuck Berry every once in a while. That's 50s, <laughs> you know. I think 50s is where I start to dabble in. A little Elvis, you know, a little, and um, then we get into the 60s. They so go Beatles and, yeah, and the 70s Stones. 70s and 80s and 90s. And yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe there's just something about that music that. But see, that's the that's the thing. It's like, I'm so curious. It's like, will future generations want to listen to what their great, great, great grandparents <laughs> listened to a hundred years in the past? Like when we're in the 2060s and 70s, will people, will they want to. Will they want to listen to that? Maybe. Well, they in the 2090s. Will they want to listen to, to the 90s music? It, it smells like yes, 90s rock. Yes, because music is the best music ever made. I, you don't know that. Maybe not future generations. Maybe they think this was crap. Your future dad thinks this is wrong. crap. <laughs> so that's there you go. He heard one Pearl Jam song. He said, "I'm done." That's it. Serious like I'll pay for my radio. Uh, <laughs> my dad, screw it's free. it. I'm out of here. No, I'll pay for music now. Yeah, he's Thank like, I'll you. pay for it just so I can. Get around. I'm like, oh. that's, that's the scam. Sirius XM tells your local stations to play Pearl Jam so that you'll go buy Sirius yep. XM. That's I the scam. It. That's the scam. I welcome, believe it. welcome to America. 